all this series really about the impossibility of understanding each other, even if we are so close and we are a family. Hi, my name is Monia Ben Hamoda, and I'm an Italian Tunisian artist, mostly based between Milan and Kirwan in Tunisia. When Pacqui Artwork uh, invited me to the cycle of exhibition, I was very pleased and very inspired actually by the topic because it's somehow part of my already existing series that you will see in this show because it's so much related with um, the idea of resilience inside the ancient uh, Islamic art and how much calligrapher and Islamic artists and Arab artists in general had to deal with the uh, uh, aniconism and the rule of not representing living forms inside their art. All the show is related to this uh, Persian uh, miniature uh, that it's called the destruction of uh, the idols of Kaaba. And inside the miniature, you will find the Prophet Muhammad smashing and destroying uh, uh, some sculpture and, uh, and idols that uh, were in the current uh, Kaaba in, in Mecca. It was very inspiring to me uh, to understand that uh, in that miniature, uh, I was able to see the exact time where Aniconism started to raise uh, in, uh, in Islamic culture. So the show is really related to the miniature, freezing that moment and trying to understand what is uh, the relationship between that moment and the contemporary and most recent uh, history, uh, which is related more with the uh, Black Lives Matter movement and how we see the smashing and destroying of many of the bronze sculpture that we have in our cities in Western world. I found interesting that inside the show you will feel like this crystallized moment, uh, that it's a moment of changing uh, between uh, the day and the night. And then you also, when you enter, you smell also a lot uh, the spices and the paprika and the harissa and the chili powders and the charcoal. And all together this chant is just entering inside your body and uh, it creates a really, like a physical response uh, uh, to the show and to art, which is pretty uncommon usually, because we are used to see art and to be like a little bit, you know, outside of it, like uh, to have a more cold approach thing. But, um, but here you can sneeze, you can cough, so it's go you're gonna have like a very physical response to it. A fire is a very important element inside my research because it's, very much related to the series of sculpture that you will see in the show. Uh, the wood ones, I fire them, I carbonize them, so you will see that it's really dark. And it's so much related with an idea of ceremony or something that must be, you know, born again, every dawn and redone and again. Like calligraphy is very important to me again because of my heritage, but also it was very central for me because um, my father was a calligrapher, an Islamic calligrapher, and uh, it was very much a filter through all my childhood and teenage years uh, because it, it was a way to feel more linked with my family in Tunisia and also with my father. It was like very much the center of our relationship, how much actually language can be way to misunderstand each other. Uh, it's not easy uh, to use language. Uh, it's more easy to use images, for example. 